Hello guys, today I'm going to give a very quick um, introduction to TensorFlow. Okay, first we need to launch the JupyterLab. We already have a project to build, so we're going to use handwritten digits. Uh, notice here I have disabled my video card because my video card is kind of low quality, only 2 gig of RAM. Now import the data. Uh, we can take a look at the data. So it's just handwritten digits. The training data set has 60,000 handwritten digits by US Census Bureau employees. We can pick another eight number to take a look. So these are the handwritten digits. Okay, this is a nine. And the validation data set is of digits written by 10, by 10,000 digits written by high school students. You can pick randomly, pick eight numbers, take a look. Okay, the high school kids. And these are very low resolution images, 28 by 28. And they're grayscale, so there's no color. Each pixel is just a single number between 0 and 255. So it's 0, it's white, if it's 255, it's black. Everything in between is gray. We need to first flatten the data to convert the 28 by 28 matrix to a sequence of numbers. Um, so each pixel becomes a single number. They are flattened. Uh, 28 times 28 is 784. So we can have a n by 784 matrix as input. And output, obviously, the label is a number, a digit from 0 to 9. We're going to convert them to categories. Now I'm going to train the neural network. This is a demo of what a neural network looks like. A single layer with 512 neurons. And we use a high-level API called Keras. It's very easy to spell out uh, how you want the neural network. And there are also choices about loss function and uh, optimization algorithms and loss functions across entropy. So we compile the model. There's almost actually over 400,000 weights needs to be estimated. We now can train the model. We're going to train five epochs. So each epoch is uh, information from uh, the input layer all the way to output layer. And the error is passed from output layer all the way to the input layer. So one round trip is one epoch. So we're going to train five epochs. Neural networks extremely computational intensive. So you need a good computer. And a lot of times you will need a video card so that's almost done. So the last epoch, you can see the validation accuracy increases, increases. Now it's over 98%. That's pretty good. So basically you make a, about two errors out of 100. That's pretty accurate. 98% accurate. Okay. We plot the out of sample prediction at loss, you can see that it reaches lowest point at about number four, the fourth epoch. The trend prediction loss obviously decreases monotonically. So if you continue, you will overfit. Now let's train another neural network. It's basically two layer, uh, each layer with only 128 neurons. So this is a much simpler model with a total of only slightly over 100,000 weights compared to over 400,000. So we're going to train five epochs. This is going to be very quick. So you can see the validation accuracy is close to 97%. So a lot of times neural networks, the structure doesn't really matter. You can use one layer, you can use two layers or three layers. The output, uh, the performance of the model does not change by too much. Okay, it's a 97%. Let's plot the pr prediction loss. So kind of overfit starting from the second epoch. And the overall prediction accuracy for the two-layer neural network is about 97%. 1% worse than the uh, single-layer 512 neurons. Now let's take a look at the digits where we didn't predict well. So this is 2, we thought it's 8. 3, the computer thought it's 7. 8, the computer thought it's 5. This is 5, the computer thought it's 0. So the computer does make a bit of error, but overall it's pretty good. 97% accuracy, or 98 if you use the single layer neural network. So this is the intro to TensorFlow, and enjoy.